also known as money stock, refers to the amount of monetary assets that an economy has access to at a particular time. Money supply can be measured by monitoring currency in circulation and demand deposits. This data is typically published and recorded by a nation's government or central bank. All the currency and other liquid instruments that are circulating in a national economy at a particular time make up the money supply. Money supply has a direct effect on inflation, the business cycle, and the price level of goods and services. There is a strong relationship between the growth of money supply and long-term price inflation. In economics, inflation refers to a general increase in the prices of goods and services and a decline in money's purchasing value. If the money supply rises too fast, the long-term inflation rate usually rises too. There are different forms of money supply, EM0 and EM1, which we call narrow money. It typically includes coins and notes in circulation, as well as other money equivalents that can be easily converted into cash. EM2 is EM1 plus short-term deposits in banks, as well as 24-hour money market funds. EM3 is EM2 plus longer-term deposits, as well as money market funds with over 24-hour maturity. Money supply is not expressed identically across the world. The United Kingdom, for example, uses EM4, which, according to the Bank of England, includes UK coin, the private sector's holding of sterling banknotes, deposits, and money market instruments. Japan has EM1, EM2 plus CDs, EM3 plus CDs, and broadly defined liquidity. Interest rates will usually fall when the money supply in an economy rises. This stimulates spending because consumers and businesses have more cash. The increased demand for products means that businesses need to produce more, which boosts employment. The opposite typically happens if the money supply goes down, 